Welcome to this edition of Behind the Golden Shovel, entitled Innovation and Technology. I'm Robin Zimmerman. In this episode, we'll get an update on Tintong, a Vietnamese high-tech recycler of commercial tires in Allendale County. Tyco Manufacturing, a company in Jasper County that is now building electric vehicle terminal tractors. The Southern Carolina Landing Pad in Buford, a collaborative effort that helps attract international companies to the low country. And finally, Hardy Greens in Hardyville, a family vertical farming business. In March of 2023, Tintong, the first Vietnamese company to invest in South Carolina, had its groundbreaking in Allendale County. With me now is John Fleming. He is the COO of the Southern Carolina Alliance to give us an update. Hey, John, how are you? Doing great, Robin. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. So it's been several months. We had the fabulous groundbreaking, a lot of community leaders and elected officials, and a whole contingent from Vietnam and the company were in attendance. It was a, a wonderful, wonderful event. And so here we are. So where are we? <laughs> well, we're continuing to move the project forward. We still call it Project Tread. That was the code name that Commerce used. Uh, the Tenton Group moved forward. We went and met with them just two weeks ago in Washington, D.C., okay. as they continue to move forward, selecting contractors and engineers. Mm -hmm. There's some work has been started on the site, some clearing has started, but they're still working on their final plans and okay. are interviewing down to some final two firms to continue moving this forward. So for the viewers that don't really know what Tin Tong will be doing at that site in Allendale in the company, what, what, is, what is the business all about? So the business is twofold. Primarily, they are going to retread commercial tires. They are currently selling tires in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and currently shipping them back to Vietnam to be retreaded. So this facility okay. will allow them to actually stay in the U.S., employ folks in Allendale and retread those tires and put them back on to the commercial vehicle fleets within the U.S. Um, and then at the end of the life of those tires, they can only retread them three times, they will then recycle that tire. So they will remove the steel belts and then they will grind the mm -hmm. tire itself up into, into powder and reuse it. So that's a very innovative process, isn't it? It, typically, you see a tire just get thrown away and right. not in a landfill anymore, but it's thrown away and discarded, and they're trying to make sure this is a closed loop cycle that they can continue to reuse this material. Now, at the groundbreaking, it was announced that there could be upwards of a thousand people at that particular plant. So, what's in the works to, to start maybe employing folks? So, that is correct. They announced just over a thousand folks for phase one and they're already starting to talk about phase two, but phase one is what they're working on right now, and Ready SC, the state's technical mm -hmm. division, part of commerce, is gearing up already to start selecting those folks. You know, they're still two years out before yeah. they have the plant operational, so right now they're still gearing up for it. They won't start hiring folks for probably another 18 months. And what kind of um, expertise would these individuals, what kind of jobs are we looking at, John? It, it is, you know, it is advanced manufacturing. Mm -hmm. I, we did visit one of their facilities in Vietnam. It is a clean, modern factory with a lot of computers and robotics. They still need a lot of operators to control those. So there's going to be a lot of advanced technology required of the employees. So the technical college system is going to start training, um, get some equipment to use for mock-ups, but it will be you know, a wide variety of skills needed to operate this plant. It's so exciting that it's a Vietnamese company, first investment in South Carolina, so the Southern Carolina Alliance integral in bringing them here. Yes, they were looking at multiple states. Um, we showed them multiple sites and this is the site within our region and then the state of South Carolina showed them multiple sites. It is like any other economic development project. It's part of that company finding a spot where they feel at home and where they feel comfortable where they can do business. Okay. And the state and Southern Carolina then expanded upon all the assets that Allendale County has to offer for a particular user, the rail being right on site exactly. with a major factor in their decision. Well, it's a very exciting project for Allendale County exciting. and the state of South Carolina. 
Congratulations. Thank you so much, Robin. <laughs> John Fleming, again, the COO of the Southern Carolina Alliance with this fabulous news as we move forward with Tintong.